Angelica Kaysen, and I'm a health and well-being coach. And I'm going to share with you some tips for helping children handle those big feelings, those big emotions. So the first thing I want to share with you is an emotion chart. So this emotion chart is great for you to put in your classroom to check in with your children. Help your children understand what their feelings are, what their emotions are, and it has a different range of emotions. Using this is great to help children handle those big feelings. They can look at the different feelings and talk about how they're feeling. And of course we know children can feel more than one emotion at a time. Then after we discover what feelings they're having, maybe they're having some of those upset feelings so we can help them calm down. And one great way we like to use calm down methods is with conscious discipline texts. So, this here are our four breathing techniques. Our favorite is the balloon, where the children puff, 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 and then they let the air out. Then our next one is our calm down poster. These are great to put in your cozy corners or in your calm down centers that we like for you to have in your classroom. This lets children understand, hey, I need to calm down, but it also gives them options. So. A great way to use those are cutting them out, putting them on a ring. You put them on the ring and you as the teacher can present to the child three different options that work at that period of time. And they can say, oh, I wanna take a break. Or I wanna blow some bubbles. Or let's take some deep breaths. These are all great ways to help children regulate those big feelings and those emotions and understand that it's okay to have those big feelings and those emotions, but we also need to learn how to regulate and calm down. So thank you educators for all you do. And remember, big feelings need big solutions. Thank you.